Andri. Hello, everyone. Good Hi. Evening. Good evening. How is Eid al-Adha observed in Australia, and where do Muslims in Australia usually pray during the day? Well, um, the Islamic Council in Australia, here at the Grand Mufti of Australia, Dr. Ibrahim Abu Muhammad announced that uh, Friday out of July 2022 is the day of Arafah. So the Eid al-Adha in Australia is happening um, as on today, uh, which is one day earlier from Indonesia. So Eid al-Adha is, uh, as we know, among the holiest event in Islam, as well as a significant and only liberation from communities uh, across Australia. But unlike you know, Eid al-Adha is not a nationwide holiday in Australia, that most Islamic organizations may close or over the lower levels of service. And uh, there was a local traffic congestion as well um, when I went to the mosque uh, this morning. And in Australia, um, Muslims don't sacrifice the animal themselves. So what they do is they usually pay the charity organizations that will um, facilitate the kurban in countries overseas. So after the animals are sacrificed, the their meat is distributed to the poor and the needy. Now, Andre, of course, uh, Eid Al-Adha is about celebrations also. So are there any celebrations for Indonesian Muslims in Australia? Well, there are quite a few of um, Indonesian communities here in Australia. And they are celebrating Eid Al-Adha today in a few different places. Um, like in Melbourne, for example, one of the biggest uh, Muslim communities is called the Indonesian Muslim Community of Victoria. Uh, for Eid Al-Adha, what they do is basically they collect the Kurbani donation, Indonesian people in Australia, and they send the money to Indonesia. Mm -hmm. um, I spoke to them yesterday. Um, in 2021, they managed to gather um, and send more than 21,000 Australian dollars and for sure, as of yet, uh, when I spoke to them, they managed to collect um, almost 10,000 Australian dollars, and it's been sent to the Indonesia. Right. And are there any specific traditions, maybe, uh, that is performed in Australia during Eid al-Adha? Well, I mean, as we know, Eid al-Adha al is um, also a time for many, uh, to make donations to the poor and the needy. Um, this observance is known as the Feast of Sacrifice because traditionally it, it includes the sacrifice of all permitted for goods, sheep, cattle, camels, and some of these are donated to the charitable causes. It's an act of thanksgiving for um, God's mercy. So unlike in Indonesia where people can reach for slaughter and sacrifice animals independently, this practice looks different in Australia. Um, due to strict regulations, Kurbani must be carried out um, in a slaughterhouse, and only one of a few organizations offers this service. So most people here they send the Kurbani to be performed overseas, like I said before. So mm -hmm. this could be in different countries such as Africa, Lebanon, Palestine, and including Indonesia. And the money typically um, paid to humanitarian organizations to conduct the Kubani and distribute the meat in countries, communities where meat is considered um, a luxury. Wow, thank you so much for the updates. Muhammad Andri, we wish you a safe and blessed Eid al-Adha. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.